Oh, hello. So, you want to know how to make spacecraft, do you? Well, you've come to the right place. Kaboom! Yes, welcome to my new showcase hangar. And today, we are going to be looking at spaceships. From small personal vehicles all the way through to intergalactic battle cruisers. So, let's get to it, shall we? Now, first up is the PV Apollo. Now, the PV Apollo is a small two-person transport vehicle that I kind of always pictured as being just sort of like the congestion -y sort of vehicle that, you know, you have a car and you drive around. This is the futuristic version. So where there's traffic today, there would be air traffic and all of the people in the city would be driving around in one of these. Now, on this model here, I am using quartz, smooth red sandstone, acacia trapdoors and iron trapdoors as well as smooth stone slabs and our stone bricks but you could change this palette out for any other palette as long as it had slabs stairs and block variants and you could turn this very futuristic sci-fi looking personal vehicle into a cyberpunk sci-fi vehicle or any other type of sci-fi aircraft that you wanted it's a very very simple design that is perfect for a small family to get around in our futuristic cities. Next up, we have the STS Big Boy C4. Now the C4 is Copter 4 and STS stands for Space Transportation System because this vehicle is designed to transport stuff to and from in the air and in low orbit. Now it's a quadcopter based around a drone design, which I'm a huge fan of. And you may have seen these in my Random Craft episodes but with a slightly different central piece. I'm a huge lover of quadcopters. I think they look great and they always have this really nice futuristic look to them. And again, here I am using smooth red sandstone as well as our quartz. And then I'm also using walls and slabs and of course hoppers, which make these really nice sort of mechanically connectors, which I kind of like. And then in the center, we have a small spherical cockpit for our pilot. We also have these bumpers on the front which are kind of protection from the side bits should any of these quadcopter parts fail, just to give them a little bit of protection. And we also have the entrance here up on the top, so we can just drop down into it. Oh, and there we go, we are now inside our quadcopter. And I was actually inspired to make this original quadcopter by one of my favorite villains of all time, Dr. Robotnik from Sonic. Next, we have the CS Mark I Horizon. Now, the CS is a cargo ship, so this is what would deliver cargo to and from. These are kind of like the lorries, vans, or trucks of the sci-fi age. They take things to and from places, deliveries, and so on. Think Serenity from Firefly, which, come to think of it, I should really try and make at some point. Now, the cargo ships all have these side-mounted propulsion systems, sort of like rocket engines that they can push downwards to get a lot of thrust going up and then they can angle them to get forward momentum. We also have these tail fins on the back which give us stability and then we have these really nice skids that run along the left and the right and again we are using our quartz on our red sandstone because those are the Entech colors but you could use any sort of blocks that you wanted. I have tried making this using deep slate and it looked very menacing indeed. Now, the Mark 1 is a beautiful aircraft. However, there is, of course, the Mark 2. Now, the CS Mark 2 is called the Eternity, and this one has a slightly sleeker design than the Mark 1, slightly pointed front, as well as having a little bit more rigging on the side to attach cargo to. It has some of these nice little lights. We lose the energy sections because that's now protected. So this ship in particular would be for more sort of hostile environments. And we have an extremely large forward thruster at the back so we can travel deeper into space and deliver goods from planet to planet. Now on the Mark II Eternity, we're also using a little bit more deep slate. And that's because, as I said previously, it makes it look a little bit more menacing. And as we progress down the ship, she will start seeing that come up more and more. Uh, as we become a little bit more, well, menacing. But if the Mark II Eternity isn't quite your jam, then perhaps you'd be interested in the CS Mark III Hornet, because the CS Mark III Hornet is a fighter cargo ship. 
So we have a much more stinging front, which is kind of where we got the idea for the name Hornet. It looks like the rear end of a wasp. And then we have our side thrusters, twin engines on the back for forward propulsion. And then we have our side fins as is customary for all of our cargo ships. Again, we are using a lot of quartz and polished andesite as well as our smooth red sandstone but you could change this out to be any other material as long as there was block, stair and slab variants. But perhaps you weren't interested in one of these sleek looking cargo ships. Maybe you really liked the big boy. Well, don't worry, I have you covered because this is the CS Big Boy C3. So this is our big boy quadcopter, but completely recycled into a cargo ship. We have a lot more stuff on here. We have our twin tail fins on the back. We also have our side mounted thrusters and we still maintain our domed center. Now, as you can see, the window on this one goes all the way to the bottom and that is so that the pilot can get a good view of what is below him because this is a recycled cargo ship. So there is no internal cargo storage at all. It all has to be mounted on these skids and on these grabbers round at the back. So these would rotate down things would be attached to these skids and then it would carry it underneath the cargo vessel. So it's extremely important that he can see a lot more. So this is a recycled cargo ship, kind of a junker. And if you're wondering what the cargo would look like whilst it's mounted underneath this, then you'd want to take a look at the STS Pioneer. Now this is a space transportation system that is mostly built for taking construction materials to and from planets. Now it also features this extremely long front window so that the pilot can see lower down to the ground. We have our side thrusters to push up and then in the center we have this large container which can be detached and it picks it up and moves it forwards to its destination. Now this is the STS Pioneer Mark 1 and I haven't made the STS Pioneer Mark 2 or 3. So if you download this world and have a good look at these vehicles and you make a new STS Pioneer Mark 2 or 3, why don't you share it with me on Twitter or better yet over on the Random Fandom Discord and I will feature them in another video. Now that the cargo ships and space transportation systems are out of the way, let's move on to the Star Cruisers. This is the SC Sparrow. Now the SC Sparrow is a small star cruiser. It's built majorly around the idea of a jet. So we have the fuselage that's very, very jet-like. You have these side wings, which are a lot shorter than regular sort of aircraft wings because you don't really need lift in space. Uh, the lack of gravity does a lot of that for you. And then we have our tail fins on the back and a large thruster. Not as large as our previous one, but still pretty sizable. Now the SC Sparrow is a vehicle to get from A to B fast and deal with any threats along the way. Now this particular model doesn't have any guns attached to it. It's built to be small and nimble, a lot like the actual Sparrow. But if you do want something with a little bit more umph, then you would want the SC Hawk. The SC Hawk is a star cruiser that is based around the cargo ship Hornet, but has a few unique features. We have the twin thrusters at the back still, but we go a lot narrower here in the center and that is because we want this to be built for speed. This is a dart of a system. So we have our two side jet engines, two rear jet engines, these long wings, and then we have our extremely aerodynamic pointed front so we can split through the skies as quickly as possible. And of course, you could add your own weaponry to this vehicle. You could add in some guns and some rockets and so on and really sort of beef this thing up quite heavily. But this is the base model uh, ready for you to start doing all of that tiny little detailing work. And then finally, we have the BC Warlock Mark 1. Now, this is our large intergalactic battle cruiser. We have a lot of thrusters and a very aerodynamic shape. And this is built to destroy. We have this extremely large cockpit in the center, and this would be built for maybe two to three people. Uh, kind of see this as sort of like the Lancaster bomber of the future world. Uh, we have the ability to add in gun turrets on the sides here, which uh, look fantastic. 
uh, as well as adding multiple guns to the front we can add in a rocket bit to the center as well as underneath you can do a lot to the warlock and it is actually the smaller brother of the bc mama which i'm not going to show you today but if you are interested let me know down in the comments and we will have a little look at that and that's my ships hopefully you enjoyed this and i hope it serves to give you a little bit of inspiration on building your own sci-fi spaceships and if you want you can download all of these ships in the link down below i will include a world download as well as light maticas for all of the builds and on that note i have got a date with a rather nice robot have fun everyone and i'll see you next time enigma out i'm sure i was supposed to meet that robot somewhere around here huh maybe it was in the next hangar that's the problem with hangers. They all look alike. I should really speak to Entech about that. <laughs>